Hi. In the last video of this .NET Beginner series, we defined web APIs and talked about ASP.NET Core. In this video, we're going to get our hands dirty with ASP.NET Core and write some code. In particular, we're going to gain an understanding of ASP.NET Core's hosting model. To get started, I'm going to head over to my VS Code instance and create a new .NET project using the C-Sharp Dev Kit extension. Let's go ahead and select .NET New Project. We'll select ASP.NET Core Empty, which is the empty web template. And we'll select a target folder for a new project. I'm going to put it in my source directory here and give our new project a name. Let's go ahead and call it My New App. You can call yours whatever you'd like. Awesome. Once we've created our new template, we're going to head over to the program CS file that was created for our project. In this file, ASP.NET Core apps are configured. It will launch a host that's responsible for starting the application, configuring an underlying HTTP server, and setting up the pipeline for processing requests and responses over HTTP, a protocol of the internet. In sum, it'll set up everything we need to start writing our web API. In this minimal hosting model, the web application builder we construct on line one provides us with APIs for configuring the application host. We'll experiment with some of these APIs in future videos in the series. But for now, we can take a look at some of the properties available on this type by typing builder dot. And we'll see that we have access to the host, the environment, details about its configuration, and other attributes that we can enhance. There's lots of ways that you can customize your ASP.NET Core application. But for now, it's important to know that it's possible. Once we've configured our host by writing code in between lines one and three in this file, we can build our web application. The web application, which is defined here, configures the request response pipeline behind the scene. It allows users to configure route handlers in their application and exposes a run method that we can call to start our HTTP server and initiate our HTTP request processing pipeline. In this video, we took a look at the code that's generated when we create a new ASP.NET Core web template in VS Code. And we learned a little bit about the hosting model that's responsible for running our ASP.NET Core applications. In the next video in this series, we're going to start building our first web API using ASP.NET Core's minimal APIs.